So you need 24 pieces of Christmas cloths to make the pockets. Here I have some of them cut out. The sizes vary and the shape, shapes too. Uh, but compared to my hand you can sort of see what's, what kind of sizes they are. Then I made a seam at the top of each. Only turned them once because it's not going to have much wear. Like that. And then I ironed them flat. Then you can take the piece of fabric that you are going to sew them on and set them out to see how much of the base fabric you will need. I have here, um, the height is 80 centimeters and I'm going to cut it so that the width will be 85 centimeters. But it depends on what shape you want it. It could also be narrower or wider. And remember to leave some space at the top because you need a button or something to hang it with. Now I have three of them sewn up. I didn't actually pin them after I had set them on the cloth. I just go sort of decide as I go where I'll actually put them. Uh, so this here is the top. The pockets open this way. Next I'll put this here pocket here. So it opens this way. It's I find it easiest to sew it upside down. So um, I measure where it's going to go and then I turn it this way and move it up a little bit uh, to allow for the seam. And then I pin it up. Uh, and I turn this here as we'll need the seam there too. So I just, you could iron them if you wanted but I just sew them. So I pin it like that. There's the seam then. And the, the same on the other side. Like that. Uh, and now I sew this here. Now that's sewn up. Uh, then I turn it up like this here to form the pocket and uh, I'll pin both of these sides there left the pins a bit far away And there. So two seams. One here and one there. Now all the pockets have been sewn on, there, Next you need seams on both of the sides and on the bottom. So make those first and then the top seam will be slightly different. So turn once and a second time and pin it and sew. At the top you need a bit wider hem to pass through a button or something to hang the calendar on the wall. Then iron it well before using the glitter glue for the numbers. It's harder to iron after the numbers are on. Then you need a couple colors of glitter glue to write the numbers with. I'm writing the numbers mixed here and there so that the children will sort of have to look for them. So this is number five. I noticed with these two different kinds of glue I have. This is five. Uh, that one of them is much easier to use and it's not this white one. It's too much coming out of it. 
so it's harder to make it even. Five. There, I suppose you recognize that as five. Then pass something that the calendar can hang from through the top. I have this light metal bar, but it can be anything. The length that it sort of comes out of it, so that you can either put, put a nail underneath it there, or else what I'm going to do next is to make a string or a ribbon to hang it from. I twisted a ribbon using wool and glittery threads in Christmassy colors. So here it is finished. Hanging up. And now it's going to its new home from Finland to Northern Ireland.